Oh, welcome back, my lovelies. If we have not met, my name is Pearl. I'm also known as the Fake Queen in some areas around you, perhaps. You might have encountered me. But in today's video, and I'm so happy that you are joining me for this, in today's video we are going to go over an overview of what fairies are. Well, see, it's not really super easy to explain what fairies are, um, you know, creatures like me, you know, but I am going to attempt my darnest to give you an idea of what we are. <laughs> and I do believe it is like the oldest question in the book. So welcome to the edge of the other world, which is something we like to call the fairy realm as well. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your stay. Fairy is an umbrella term for anything mythical. Yes, I said it. The term fairy comes from the Latin word of fatare, which means to enchant. It also comes from the French word fay. That also sounds very German because in German it's also a fay. So I'm probably not pronouncing it because my French tongue is not very fluent. But that is okay. We oui, oui. and as an umbrella term, we like to use fairy um, for more of the classical appearance, which such as air fairies or sprites. But I would like to group them into a few groups for you to understand them a little bit better. We have our air fairies, and also we have elementals. Elementals can be found with all of the elements. You have your earth elementals, your fire elementals, your water elementals, and your air elementals. But for the air fairies specifically, you have the Lana Han Chi, you have Aaron Rod, you have Griffin, Sprites, Vila, and Odin. Yes, the god Odin is considered an air fairy. You probably don't want to tell that to his face though. Then you have the fire fairies. They're a little sassy and a little warm. For your fire fairies, we have the djinn, which is also known as a genie to the majority of you. You also have dragons. They would, since they are mythical in the modern day and age, because <laughs> dragons still exist. I don't know why I keep saying modern day and age, because dragons and fairies exist. Hello. Anywho, you also have Brigid, which is really pronounced breed. And uh, breed was a member of the Tuatha Denan. Yeah, that. Then for your earth fairies, and this is where it gets good. This is where you have your most familiar fairies, or well, the one that you're most familiar with. <laughs> you have your leprechauns, heard of them, right? <laughs> uh, you got your dwarves, you got your pixies, your gnomes, the green man, Carnunos, the horn god, which is a hunter and the keeper of time. So that's pretty cool, yeah. And you also have your giants. Giants, even though they are much larger than us wee little fairies, they are still considered a fairy under the fairy umbrella. You can stand under my fairy umbrella, Ella, Ella, eh, eh, no, fay, fay. <laughs> Okay, then for your house fairies, I said that earlier, you have your familiars, and a lot of people always 
think of familiars when it comes to witches, but also they're part fairy. So if you have a cat or a reptile that you consider your familiar, it's probably because they are part fae. Yeah. Then you have your brownies and your hobgoblins. And hobgoblins and brownies get confused a lot of the times, but hobgoblins, honestly, they are really good and they like to help around the house until they are offended. If you ever offend them, then they turn into nasty little creatures. This is true. And I'm pretty sure you have a hobgoblin in your house too that you have offended. If you are missing any socks or buttons, yeah, so the best thing to do is leave out some milk and honey and maybe some fresh bread. Yes, they will appreciate and they will start helping you around the house again. Then for your flower fairies. Now, if you can think of a flower, there's a fairy for it. My favorite would be the rose fairy, the iris fairy, and the honeysuckle fairy. Then you also have your tree fairies. Uh, those would be like the willow fairy and also the dryads which are not to be confused with the druids these are dryads dryads i like saying that word and they are beautiful creatures they're so down to earth and we have Last but not least, we have our weather fairies. Even though all fairies can temper with the weather, here and there, you know, we can make it rain on your parade if we really wanted to, or we can make the sun come out to help our wings dry off. But the majority of the weather fairies would be the Snow Queen. I'm sure you've heard of her. She finds it most cozy and relaxing when it's 30 below freezing. Then you have Father Frost. Yes, he is a weather fairy. And I'm sure he'll own up to it too, yes. I don't think he'll be like Odin. Yeah. And now for the most important part that you've probably been asking yourself. It's like, now that you know what fairies are, you're probably wondering where fairies live. And that is another hard one to answer. We fairies live in a different realm, which is called the other worlds. Yes. If you may, once in a while you can see us if we appear on the edge of the other world and your world or between or betwixt. So now, away with the fairies. I hope you enjoyed this knowledge that you have. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask me and I will do my darnest to answer them for you. We'll have a whole lot more videos coming of fairies and fairy habitats and all that other stuff and I hope you enjoy them very much because I enjoy making them for you. See you guys soon. Bye!